Hello guys, welcome back to Malutaki. Today we are gonna review the latest SJ6 Legend from SJ Cam, which is a very good action camera for the beginners and also for the riders. It got some amazing specifications, image quality, and lot more. So we'll take a closer look in this video. So let's get started, guys. So friends, as we can see from the box itself. This camera got two displays, one in the front and one in the back. Gyro stabilization for better video stabilization, and it also support 4K video resolution at 24 frames per second, which is a very good frame rate for a low budget action camera for the beginners. This SJ Cam also provides some couple of accessories along with this box, so we don't need to spend anything more for buying those accessories. SJ Cam has also specified the specifications, image resolutions in the back side of this box. We can also connect this camera to a smartphone with the help of an application which we can download from App Store of iPhone and also from the Google Play Store with the help of those QR codes. Now we can open up the box and we'll see what are the things and what are the accessories provided by the SJ Cam in this cute little box. So now we'll open up the camera and see what is inside this box what are the things provided by the SJ cam in this box so we can see the camera right in front of the box itself it's inside the water resistance case which is a pretty solid case so that we can easily dip the camera inside the water for underwater photography now we'll keep the camera aside and we'll take a closer look in the accessories provided by the SJ cam inside the box we can see a USB cable for the charging of our camera we can see a couple of mounts for mounting it in our helmet, tripods, gimbals and so on. We can also get a camera cover and some double set tape so that we can stick those accessories or mounts to our helmet. We also get a USB cable for charging our device and a cloth for wiping our lens, for cleaning our lens, I mean camera lenses and to clean the display of that lens. We also get a quick guide and then sticker um, yeah sticker uh, branding sticker is provided by the sj cam so that we can stick it in anywhere we wanted uh, maybe it's for the advertisement uh, whatever it is so now we'll take a quick look onto the guide and we'll see what's written inside the guide we'll quickly turn over the guide and uh, sj cam has uh, described and given the details of the camera and the functions of the camera inside the user guide we can see the um, accessory list um which are provided by the sj cam so we'll keep these things as said and now we will take the closer look onto our sj cam so let's nice. now we will take this cute little sj cam right out of the box and we'll see what is in look like from the outside it's having a sj cam branding and the model number written on the left hand side we got the micro usb charging port and also the micro sd card port the best part of this camera is it's having an internal mic built to it so that we can record our audio along with the videos and it only get three physical buttons because it's having a full touch display now we'll turn on the camera and we'll see how it's look and what are the UIs and what are the settings provided by the camera the SJ cam branding is coming at the first now as you can see we got some modes uh, still mode, video mode and video lapse, uh, burst mode, underwater photography mode, drive mode, a uh, couple of more so even slow motion mode. It also provides a special mode like underwater mode. Uh, maybe we can use it for taking videos under the water so that it may be giving us some advantages than the normal mode which we use to record videos in the normal situations. It also got a still mode so that we can take uh, selfies. Uh, photos and much more The main thing the best part which I like in this camera is it's having a very wide angle length Which is 166 I guess 166 degree wide uh, which can easily fit my table and uh, While we are taking a selfie or video we can easily fit Many things many people's inside that we can also connect this camera to our smartphone using the Wi-Fi It is also having a option while we are mounting it to a drone so that uh, it may provide some extra features and it is also having an option to lock the lcd i mean uh, lcd off so when we click it the lcd completely turns off and while we are turning on it asks us to swipe down 
screen so that we can unlock the screen it's a very good feature now we will go to the resolutions the settings and it is providing us couple of resolutions like 1080p 4k 2k uh, 720p vga and it also having us a video lapse option and also low light mode which we can turn on and um, can enable it we also have a wo mode and gyroscope which is now uh, they are giving us couple of options like uh, high medium and we can turn it off the best part is when we are using a high gyroscope sensitivity will be having less shakes in so in our videos and when we turn off those gyro sensitivity we are having will have a very bad shakes in the video so that the video won't look mm -hmm. much better and we'll also have some of um, other options like um, audio controls like the audio of them we can control the audio of this camera and we also have time strap uh, you know that is uh, times will be written in the video itself uh, the uh, date and the time of <laughs> the video taken it is also having some bitrate double files so that we can have two files and we can also adjust the sharpness uh, as well as white balance ev metering so that we can adjust those thing, things manually for getting a good video result we also have couple of languages in the camera like english uh, french uh, dutch uh, so on so we, uh, so that we can easily uh, take our choose our language so that we can understand the things written in the camera very much easily now we also got the time date uh, settings so that we can change the time date uh, so on according to our preferences now we'll see the rest of the features it also got a gimbal control uh, maybe we are getting some advantages while using a gimbal and with this mode enabled maybe we are getting some extra stability for the videos uh, i have turned off the feature because i'm right now i'm not using the camera in a gimbal uh, we have got some tv modes and uh, fast record front display on while turning the front display on we can see the uh, small detail of the thing which is shown in the display uh, like uh, while we turn off the display it completely turn off the front display it's a black and white display uh, the main use of the display is we can see the recording time battery backup and all those things in the front display we also got some uh, keypads and sounds and brightness level of the you know, digital camera uh, i mean the display uh, in the settings itself so that we can adjust the brightness and all those things in the display itself uh, in the settings itself we also got logo watermark that means it will be showing the um, sj cam logo in the video and it also got a couple of options for enabling the wi-fi for changing the password of the wi-fi and also um, uh, changing the name of the wi-fi network like uh, we have to choose between those letters it's a pretty hard thing that we have to swipe between those letters like we can see a capital a capital o, small o and um, all those things now we'll go and see what uh, we also got some screen saviors like uh, 30 seconds one minute and frequency in which frequency we need to record the video like 60 or 50 and power saver mode is also available power on mode and default mode some and also those settings the power mode enable us to uh, get the mode one like when we turn off the camera we'll get those mode right in front we also got the versions like model number version of the i mean uh, the ui version and all those things we can also disable the mic and the touch screen while by clicking the mic icon as you can see once we click those mic icon there's a cross mark indicating that the mic is disabled now we'll we don't have sd card we'll insert a sd card and we'll have some samples of the videos and photos and we'll also compare those with an okay device so let's see guys how it look like